Hi there, what are you reading? Hello, can you hear us? Oh, hi there. I didn't hear you. The story that I was reading took me far, far away. What is it about? It's about Prometheus and Odysseus, but I haven't read it all yet. Do you want to read it with me? Yes, please. Frumentius was travelling with his brother Idaeus on a boat at sea, but the wind was so strong that the boat ended up with them in a place far away from their city Alexandria. Frumentius and Odysseus found all those angry people running at them trying to capture them, so they ran off and hid under a tree and prayed to God to save them. Your Majesty. What is it, soldier? We have found these two strangers. Their ship ran into difficulty at sea. Should we kill them? No, don't kill them. They're only young. They'll be our slaves. And there's plenty of work to be done in the kingdom. These slaves are great. They're hardworking and trustworthy. And I never see them complain. Yes, that's true. They're always smiling and thankful. A few years later, the king suddenly dies, leaving the queen in charge. Once the king has freed you before his death, you are no longer slaves, but I would like you to stay and help with the running of the kingdom and look after his honor. Yes, your majesty. Frementius and Odysseus did not forget their Christianity for all these years. They they always prayed to God and more importantly they always they always spoke to each other about Jesus. What language is it anyway? How did you This is the Bible teacher. It teaches us the story of God through the Bible. Well we can't even read this story by So we won't find anything about Jesus then? This means this meant that Christianity spread in Ethiopia during their stay there, and the people of Ethiopia learned to love Jesus Christ. Prince Ezana soon grew up, and it was time for him to be king. Frumentius asked him to return to Alexandria, and King Ezana agreed. Frumentius wanted more to be done to bring Christianity into Ethiopia. He met with Pope Athanasius and asked him to send missionaries and a bishop to Ethiopia. People of Ethiopia. Yes, you are Jesus. They have a special place in my heart. I want them to know Jesus and get baptized. It would be wonderful if we can translate the Bible to Ethiopia too. So they all so they can all understand it. Well my dear friend, yes, I can think of no one better to do this job than you. The people of Ethiopia would be lucky to have you as their bishop. Cut. King Ezra and a lot of other people in Ethiopia converted to Christianity and were baptized on his return.